Hello YouTube and welcome to this review of the M1918 Browning Automatic Rifle, or simply the BAR. I ground the good grind and finally unlocked one of my favourite World War II guns and I've been playing around with it for a fair few hours now, so time to tell you if it's worth spending your hard earned credits on. When I first unlocked this gun and jumped into a game, I was shocked. The BAR has about twice the rate of fire of its real life counterpart, meaning that fully automatic fire is very difficult. The BAR is also very inaccurate, sometimes even the first round is a little hit and miss, and its cone of fire gets big quick. Fortunately, at close to medium range, burst fire works fairly well, and if you get lucky and they all go where you want, people drop very quickly. Another disadvantage of the high rate of fire is the small magazine size of the BAR. 20 rounds goes very quickly if you're not keeping it under control. On the plus side, the reloads are quick enough for this not to matter too much. I did find that I needed to take two pouches of ammo as I burnt through it so fast. As with all the machine guns, you cannot jog and fire it, which means it's not quite as nimble as an SMG in close combat. That said, dump a full mag roughly in their direction and generally they will disintegrate into a red mist soon enough, as long as they don't have the drop on you. Generally speaking, you're better off firing from crouch or prone, so the BAR suits defence more than assault. Also, the rear iron sights have blocks either side of them, making targets moving left to right, or vice versa, very hard to track. So, the pros and cons. The pros. The BAR is awesome at medium range, great damage and ROF, and enough accuracy to get the job done. It also has a respectable reload time, and if you have the tight grip perk, it's a little more accurate. Also, it looks really cool. The cons. It's very hit and miss at long range, and awkward to handle in close quarters. It has bad iron sights and a small magazine which it gets through fast. So, is it worth it? Well, I still love it, but I don't think it's for everyone. I often think I'd be better off with the M1 Grand, especially at long range. It's a pity it doesn't match the real life BAR, because I think it would be a more interesting gun, and not just an attempt to equal the German machine guns. I'd lower the ROF and increase the accuracy, making it better at long range support, and less good in close quarters. Hope you enjoyed the footage and found the review useful. If you did, leave a like or a comment. See ya YouTube!